Would you believe me if I told you that just two days ago the animation you see here looked like this? Well, you might want to, because in this video I'll show you three exact steps on how you can transform a static mid-journey picture into a mind-blowing isometric animation in less than 48 hours. That's an amazing workflow I've used to create my most popular pieces of content on Twitter, now X, gather plenty of followers, inspire people and become an AI artist. I also use this technique to create animations for my lo-fi music channel on YouTube where I blend these AI powered animations with beautiful lo-fi beats. What once demanded the expertise of a professional animation studio, two weeks of time and a big budget can now be accomplished with basic AI and After Effects knowledge straight from your bedroom. This method is significantly more advanced than those using Gen2 or Pika Labs as it gives you a complete control over your assets movement. The only limit to what you can create is your imagination. Let's begin with step 1. AI image generation. Generate an isometric New York picture using this exact prompt. I prefer using Midjourney because no other text image tool can achieve such results. You can also modify the prompt to get other amazing environments such as Kyoto Blossom Park, kids playing in New York de Janeiro slums or beautiful Santorini Islands with these tiny houses. As you will get plenty of different results from a journey, you must choose the one that is most animation friendly. Pay attention whether there is a clear focus point and does the picture make sense, also if there are enough objects to animate to create a movement effect, and most importantly, whether you like it yourself. As for now, it's a bit too unclear and too messy. To fix it, you can run the image through Magnific AI. Instead of just increasing the quality of the image by making the pixels more bright and visible, this tool adds a new layer of detail making the image appear incredibly realistic. With the proper settings, it can transform the messy outputs from Midjourney into coherent and clear visuals. Even though your AI illustration is really bright and detailed, it still contains elements of AI-generated noise that we need to eliminate. The best tool for this task is Photoshop's generative AI feature, Generative Fill, available in the latest version of Photoshop 2024. Open the file, select the lasso tool, outline the object you wish to remove, leave the text box empty, then press Generate. Watch as the selected object is replaced with the seamless background. Repeat this for all the elements that doesn't make sense and should be removed. If you need, you can generate additional objects like cars or people with Photoshop's generative fill tool. Then I use the Magnific to look them more but When all the assets are created, they need to be exported as separate files. You can simply do that with Photoshop's Polygon Lasso tool to outline the elements and export them as separate layers. Then reopen the image containing all the assets and use Generative Fill to remove every object that you've just exported as separate files. This step ensures that the image will only contain objects that will remain static. It will serve as our background layer. You must now have a clean background image and cropped assets as separate Photoshop files. Now let's dive into some animation magic. Open Adobe After Effects. Hands down the best animation software deservedly named the king of animation. Import the background picture and place the car file on top. Then simply keyframe the position property for the car according to the desired movement speed. Repeat it for all the vehicle layers. If you want a vehicle such as the bus in this example to come to a stop nicely, apply Easy Ease to your position keyframes. This will ensure it stops gradually rather than abruptly. You must also animate tires. There are two ways to achieve this. One method is to use a green screen assets from YouTube. Simply download the video, remove the green screen with the key light effect, adjust the brightness, convert the layer to 3D, position it correctly on top of the tire and establish a parrot link with the car layer so that it remains in place and follows the car's movement. You can also find a tire image online or generate it with AI and do the same as with the green screen animation. Make it 3D, position it correctly and ensure it follows the car. Finally, create shadows to make vehicles more realistic. Choose the pen tool, ensure that no layer is selected and then draw this kind of a shape. You've just created a shape layer. Place it below the car layer, decrease the opacity and parent it with the car layer so the shadow will follow the car whether it goes. Repeat the process for all the cars. Here you go. Now all the vehicles are animated. Let's animate people now. Open the file. To make the legs and hands move, they must be on separate layers. To achieve this, duplicate the layer four times and rename each one so you can easily identify them. Then use the mask to isolate each limb separately. This way you should have two legs, two hands and one body layer, all separated. 
Now let's use the Puppet tool. Place a few pins on parts of the layer you don't want to be affected by the movement. Then place additional pins on the parts of the layer you wish to move. In this case it will be a hand. Move the playhead to the 1 second mark and adjust the pin so that the hand moves to the correct position. Repeat the process for the other hand and both legs. Now our character will have a nice cartoonish movement, but you need to make this movement repetitive. Select all 5 layers, precompose them so you have the entire character as a single layer. Then open it and add one frame at the end and one at the beginning of composition. Then go back, right click the composition layer, select time, enable time remapping and press on the watch icon by holding alt on windows or option on mac. In this programmable window type loop out and press enter. Now the walking movement became the walking cycle throughout the layer. Place this layer on the street, resize it and apply position keyframes to stimulate the person walking down the street. Then add some shadows to the character in the same way you did with the cars. Finally, add some final touches to make the whole animation more interesting and charming. For example, you can download green screen rats and place them in at least few spots, because what's the New York without a plethora of rats, right? Then I made this guy fall into the manhole, this kid throwing paper planes on the street and finally this construction couple kissing. It's the small details that are often the main reason why people fall in love with this kind of art. So now you need to apply all these techniques I showed you to all the assets you have. But wait, what if you have never used After Effects before and aren't familiar with the fundamentals of animation? Well. You have two options. You can either watch a bunch of tutorials on keyframes, mask and other features or you can check out my Framer Motion online course that is tailored to teach you how to bring AI or any other picture to life in less than 7 days in the most professional and easy way, even if you have no prior experience. The course is self-paced and very easy to follow, covering everything from After Effects fundamentals to advanced techniques. After completion, your newly acquired skills will allow you to create animated stories, game concepts, cartoons, ads for brands, lo-fi animations, illustrated music videos, animated pixel art, riddles and of course isometric animations like the one in this video. Also, you can build your personal brand on X or Instagram, create ads for companies, launch a unique YouTube channel, create cartoons and go anywhere your imagination desires. And the best part? You can learn everything in less than a week with no prior experience. Hundreds of creative people have already enrolled and the feedback is amazing. All of that at Framermotion.com Also, if you have any ideas on what tutorials I should create next, let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching and bye!